Hello my soccer universe. Well, well, well. I'm wearing France because France is of the teams that I support, the one team that actually qualified, although it was so close that I was wearing another one. And yeah, what the Italians are doing, they love their drama. Hence, title, Italy loves their drama. Uh, how bad the drama will be, we, I will show you a little bit uh, uh, later. Oh, I mean, I'll talk about later and then you can see the hard numbers in the stats cast as well. Um, however, if we look at the overall winners, like who improved their chances the most to qualify? Um, Spain, obviously. So we, uh, Turkey and Switzerland. Those are the big, and Croatia also there. And I'm very surprised that Austria is there, but you know, there we are already in the infinitesimal uh range i would say before we uh, the other thing that i have to say there were loads of lopsided wins down to the fixtures but uh, that we see like uh, nine goals by germany eight goals by france it's not something that you see all that often um i would say we'll jump into it and yeah uh, ireland portugal it sparked a video that i posted yesterday uh horrible jer uh, jersey matchup on the big screen, yes, I can make out Ireland, uh, but I had it on on the small screen next to it. It looked like Portugal is playing ghosts. Uh, it, it was anyway, it was a, it was a horrible game. Ronaldo missing one big chance and a, a red card for Pepe. Ireland getting the point. Um, very, the whole fr uh, Thursday games were all not that great that I watched. But and that was one of those, so yeah, uh, rather boring stuff there uh Por Por portugal now has a um big match coming up against serbia where they just need to avoid defeat uh group h going all the way down i mean uh russia really laid down the gauntlet with a 6-0 over cyprus because goal difference may become important but i don't think so uh because they still have the two points and then there's the head to head so uh in that sense didn't really matter but i think croatia then found themselves also um obliged to run up a big scoreline where uh if you have seen the highlights uh the um, goal by Pajalic is pretty cool because uh, Karama uh, Karamaric makes uh does, does great stuff there in the build-up uh to make it 3-1 at that point um and i think that the other Karamaric goal was also worth the watch uh but you know i i, I actually like the sign of the Malta maltese fans small island big balls yeah, uh, probably the most entertaining game that no one watched, uh, except you were in the was between Slovakia and Slovenia, where Slovenia twice had the lead, but uh, was not meant to be. Uh, so it's pretty clear that we have today, three, three o'clock, I hope the video posts before that, big matchup between Croatia and Russia. Croatia needs to win. It's as simple as that. Uh, Germany already qual qualified, said uh, send off to Jogi Jog Löw, 9-0 uh, over Liechtenstein. Definitely helped by a red card. Uh, I think it was ahead of the second or first first or second goal uh, where a Liechtenstein champion like, kind of went with the studs on the neck of Goretzka, who then gave the, his shirt to that player. And then the scoreline got ugly. Uh, more importantly, in that, that group, North Mazur with a huge win over Armenia, basically knocking Armenia out uh, with, and uh, getting a great goal difference. Romania and Iceland only uh, nil nil. It is all about that last spot where maybe North Macedonia could hang on, but uh, that remains to be seen. The big story on um, that day. Thursday was of course Georgia against Sweden where the first half Sweden easily should have taken not only the lead but should have put two and they then seemed so confident that after a set piece with the first shot shot call uh, and now I hope I will not pull uh, Kvaratskhelia just uh, does not give Georgia a lead against the run of play oddly enough this was the point where I actually started watching that game I mean I just had sat down and that goal is scored and I knew that Georgia can be nasty because they already gave uh, Spain a little run for uh, for the money. But then I thought that Sweden will bounce back. Nothing of the sort. I think there was not even a real chance for Sweden after afterwards. And then uh, a really great individual effort, although also shortly defending. Again, Kvaratskhelia make making it 2-0. And Sweden squandered their big chance there because, I mean, um, at that point... They needed to have a Spanish loss to at least keep their good uh, position. And as Greece 
you probably could have expected that they do something, but the game Greece just as Greece very often does hangs back. Uh, Spain couldn't do much with it and they get a very weird penalty. I mean Greece had a goal disallowed before that. Uh, rightfully so. Um, but the penalty I still have haven't seen how much because I I, th I thought there was a foul from 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 the striker before. Sarabia converts and that was that. There was not much happening afterwards. It, it was a really, really boring game. But what, what it means now, it is lost for, uh, from Sweden is that Spain is not only first first in the group, but they have not a home game against Sweden where they just need to avoid defeat. If Sweden would have won that game, at least Sweden could uh, hope for a draw. So, I mean, uh, not, not a good sign for Sweden. Uh, they look very much playoff bound. Uh, Spain holding all the cards in that in that one because you know a draw they can get but maybe Sweden will come come out is is another uh, big match that we'll have tonight of the uh, po posting that I'm sort of looking forward to you know there are three big games uh, tonight with uh, Russia Croatia and Portugal against Serbia and Spain against Sweden um, gotta see uh, moving on to Friday's result. Big one, Scotland winning in Moldova. And Scotland is through to, to, to the playoffs. Uh, that was maybe not that expected uh, this way, like uh, half a year ago. But you know, if Austria is, is so bad, then Scotland is in there. And uh, Scotland, even a prob uh, probably among the seeded teams in uh, the playoff draw. Austria, um, yeah, played Sorta of well, but again, two defensive errors. Uh, twice Israel took 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 the lead, but you know, Foda let them play. He did not go all defensively or whatever. Foda let them play, but still uh, conceding two against Israel. Uh, when the score and probably a uh, more correct score would have been six one. What more can I can say? Louis Sharp, uh, the, uh, of course, the super sub for Austria in meaningless games. That's, I think, his, his role. And another one that has, has been pointed out, Denmark um, winning 3-1 over the Faroe Islands. Yes, Denmark conceded the goal. And it was, of course, the Faroe Islands who, in a way, belonged to Denmark that scored that goal. They want to have in, in independence. It was also remarkable that Denmark played in their red outfit, but with white out pants. Very interesting look. Very interesting. I actually like that one a little bit better than the old red look in some way. So yeah, uh, that, that group then, Denmark was in, anyway already qualified in Scotland in the playoffs. And Austria is also in the playoffs um, due to their Nations League spot, so all qualified there. Um, then we had, of course, uh, Poland getting a win, uh, meaning that they also have at least a playoff uh, spot secured. And England rolling over Albania, although Albania had a big chance uh, when, when it was 1-1. One, one. Um, Kane scoring a hat-trick, and now I think he's level with Jimmy Greaves, who just... Um, passed in the England scoring chart, so a uh, pretty, pretty big uh, story there, there as well. It was all 5-0 at the half, um, and I think the second goal, goal by Kane was the one that I really, really liked there, if I remember. Like, but why is England playing in white, uh, in blue? That I did not get either, but you know, that group. England, theoretically not yet qualified because goal difference, but you know, you play against San Marino, to me, England is qualified. Uh, <laughs> it's just no way that they are uh, squandering that league. And so we come to the big drama on Friday. Italy against Switzerland. Uh, a game where I said from the get-go, Italy better win this one, because you have to go to Northern Ireland, Switzerland playing at home to Bulgaria, you have only a two-goal cushion, and I think Northern no, Ireland has not even considered a goal yet um, at home. So uh, to avoid any drama, better beat Switzerland. However, it was Switzerland who came out the better uh, with uh, Noah Okafor from Salzburg ripping the Italian defense to shreds in the first 20 minutes. And uh, Italy even getting uh, even falling behind through a pretty well taken goal by Widmer, uh, assisted by Okafor, where uh, the Italian defense was absolutely non sorted. And it took, I think there was an injury break in which Italy then could uh, get it together. And there was a huge chance for Barella, who just you 
just can't have a low shot. You need a shot there. You need to put it high into the net. Did not happen. Uh, so it was not the equalizer. But then, and you know, you have um, Jan Sommer again in great form. However, the equalizer, I think this should not happen. Insigne's free kick is headed home by Di Lorenzo. And at that point on, then, then Italy really controlled the game. But did not create that many chances. Yes, they were the occasional ones, and then it's just when I thought, yeah, it will not, it will probably not uh, end in a draw. That yeah, you know, Italy controlled the game, but didn't want to go all out in Switzerland uh, because you know the Swiss, the Switzerland can hit you. And then a penalty is coming, and when the penalty foul was taken, I thought, yeah, I mean, I can totally un 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 understand it's a foul, but I can totally understand if you say this is too soft. To me, it was a little bit of a soft penalty. I said it even as much to, to, to my wife. I thought, okay, who is going to take the penalty? Anyone but Jorginho. Who had already missed two? Who steps up? Jorginho. Who messes up? Jorginho. Puts it over the bar. This guy has now missed three in a row for Italy. In the Euro final, where, yes, he was bailed out by Don Donnarumma. Jan Sommer saved his effort and uh, clearly he was in his head because he wanted to pull it high, but he went too high. You cannot miss this one. Then very late, late on Saksakiri actually pu should have pulled it away for Switzerland, uh, where the Italian defense again was non sorted. A uh, little bit of a let off. I think the 1 1 was overall the fair result. Uh, so, but my Italian heart. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be another nail biter. And I honestly think Switzerland, I, and, 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 and I even said, I mean, if you cannot co convert those penalties, you don't even deserve to be first in 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 a group. So if Switzerland pulls off the result against Bulgaria, and please, my dear Bulgarians, I very very hope much hope that you do something in Switzerland. You would deserve it. <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, Italy would not deserve to win this group if you don't take your chances. It's as simple as that. So yeah. Gotta see. Uh, and then moving on to yesterday's results, huge win for Finland in, uh, at Bosnia. And that all coming despite Puki missing a penalty early, early on, force giving them the, uh, the lead, and then Reitala is sent off with a red card. And they still pull off a 3 1. Uh, pretty uh, imp impressive. Uh, it was low in the 51st, and Menalo pulls one back, and then O'Shaughnessy in the 73rd. Big win for uh, Finland because they are now ahead of the Ukraine. And thanks to France completely rolling over Kazakhstan, three go uh, was it three or four goals by Mbappe. Uh, first half hat trick, I think he had four. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, he had, he had uh, before he added the eighth one. So the first three by Mbappe. Uh, then it bounced once more. It 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 then Rabiot uh, and Griezmann convert to penalty. It was a rout of the highest order. But that means the France is qualified. They have to go now to Finland. They don't have anything to play for, except pride. You know, you don't know, but uh, and Ukraine has to play at Bosnia, who probably wants to bounce back. I think the cards are slightly in favor of Finland to get a playoff spot, but we have to see. I don't want to say much because a uh, normal form would suggest that France beats Finland and Ukraine will get the necessary uh, win in at Bosnia, but you never know. Uh, it could work, it could not work. Um, Everything was not working Group G, at least to my liking. First, Norway, a dreary draw against Latvia. I think they even missed, the, uh, they, they hit once the vault work, uh, but it was not a great, it was not a good showing. Turkey at the same time does the job against Gibraltar. Uh, meaning, with the ultra result, with the Netherlands, just get a win at Montenegro. They already qualified and they don't have the finale against Norway. Uh, it also meant that uh, should there be a result by Montenegro against uh, the Netherlands, the Turkey is in a pretty good spot to get this, the runner-up. Because, you know, Norway... And what do the Netherlands do? Yeah, they get a penalty, make, make it one nil. they didn't play great, but they controlled the game. Uh, they get, for once, they uh, actually accelerate the speed down to them for uh, Depay with the heel, 2-0. All smooth sailing. There was nothing coming. The game was boring at that point. And even the commentator said, you know, if you want to switch to another game, I don't mind if you do. However, um, the coach of Montenegro had a really golden hand because within four minutes, in the last ten minutes, Montenegro manages an equalizer. The Netherlands threw away the chance to qualify. 
Yes, they are still looking good because they just they just need uh, I think a draw against uh, Norway should be enough. Just let me check now here on the standings. Uh, draw will nah, might not be enough. A draw is not in nah, it is enough because you have done 21 points and if Turkey uh, they can match you but you have the superior goal difference. So a draw will most likely see the Netherlands through. It's not a good showing. It's not a good goal good, 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 good showing because you put yourself in jeopardy when you could have put it away. So what I'm saying. So I will I was very ready to wear a Dutch jersey. No, nope, was not happening. Belgium though. Does the job, qual qualifies, Wales also do their job, 5-1, uh, and they and the Czech Republic are the other two teams that are already in the playoffs. As I said, I'll send a stats cast after. Uh, please let me know what you thought about the games. Um, you know, it was so-and-so, I think uh, Friday said, fr fr Friday was exciting. Um, yesterday was also Sky Cup, so so, but uh, today is the is probably the biggest day in World Cup, Euro World Cup, World Cup thing, with three finals and all to play for. And then we have to see uh, how Italy is gonna squander their chances again of qualifying directly, and maybe the Netherlands also do a screw job. We'll see. In any case, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my Sofa universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.